Peripheral devices. Devices that are connected to the computer that output information provided by the CPU are output peripherals. The output can be presented through many ways including electronic display, monitors, printed, printers or plotters, video, audio, speaker, and tactile forms. Let's now dive into the different forms of output peripherals. Monitors a monitor provides the output as a form of electronic display. It is the most common form of output. Some of the monitor's features include screen size, which is measured diagonally, resolution, which is measured in pixels, and the energy efficiency, which are the methods to save energy, like screen savers or low power standby. Printers. There are three main types of printers. Dot matrix. Dot matrix printers are also called impact printers because they print by hitting the paper through a ribbon of ink. Here are its features which you can use to compare it with the other printers. Slowest, cheap, low cost per copy, rare color printing and low quality. Dot matrix printers use carbon copy layers so many copies can be printed at the same time. Inkjet printers. Inkjet printers use cartridges full of ink to print. They spit this ink on the paper to form whatever must be printed. There will be a black cartridge along with a cyan, magenta and yellow cartridge. Fast, medium cost, high cost per copy, color printing available and high quality. Inkjet printers are used in homes. In fact, I'm sure the printer in your house is an inkjet printer. Laser printers. Laser printers have a rotating cylinder with an electric charge. Then a laser discharges the points needed so that the toner is attracted to those points and an image is heated onto a paper. It's mainly physics. Some of the features include fastest, expensive, medium cost per copy, color printing available and highest quality. Laser printers are often used in large businesses if a lot of printing needs to be done. 3D printer. A three-dimensional printer is used to create a model for any digital design. It works by adding layers of heat and material from bottom to top, making it take a lot of time to create a model. Plotter A plotter draws a high-quality drawing of a digital design. These designs are often made through a computer-aided design software. CAD Its working process is pretty simple. A pen is moved on a paper to make the design. It is often used by designers, architects, and engineers. Data projectors. You might have seen a data projector in a home entertainment system or at school when presenting something. A data projector has light bulbs, which have various brightness levels and are an important part of the projector, so they are very expensive to replace. Resolution. Has different qualities of screens like monitors. Zoom functionality to allow the projected screen to be enlarged or made smaller, and portability. Not all projectors are portable, but the newer ones are smaller and lighter, so they are easy to carry around. Speakers A speaker, as you probably already know, is used to output sound. You often get them in pairs, one to output the right sound and the other for the left. This is called stereo or surround sound and is often found in home entertainment systems. Control devices, also known as actuators, are devices that actually make something happen in the real world. These devices are often thought of as mechanical. Some examples are valves, pistons, heaters, coolers and motors.